Out. <clears throat> Shout a thunderous hallelujah. hallelujah. Our Lord is good. Oh, Our Lord is kind. Oh, I once again on behalf of the Godhead, you we want to specially welcome you to tonight's uh, edition of the hour of glory. We pray for you that the good Lord that loves his people so much shall turn your life around turn our life around by tonight's edition in Jesus name. Mm. Just as the program suggests, Hour of Glory is an Holy Ghost inspired program meant to deliver men and women from every cage, from every cage limitation, from every hindrances, limitation, stagnancy, problem the enemy might want to put in their way to hinder their glory and potentials. We pray with you that as you have joined us tonight, surely your life will receive all divine touch and lifting it requires in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Very quickly, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your mercies over our life tonight. We thank you for your faithfulness over your people. Thank you for the church of God. Thank you, Father, for your mercies. Father, King of glory, thank you for your faithfulness. That it would thank you, Father, because we know even in this age, Father, you are still delivering people. In this time, you are still transforming lives. In this time, you are still healing. You are still salvaging men and women. In this time, Father, King of glory, Lord, you are still doing great mighty signs and wonders in the life of many. Father, we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. We thank you for many lives you have used this program to liberate and to deliver. You alone shall take all the glory in Jesus' name. Tonight we have come again, Father. Arise, let men hear you. And Lord, let their life be lifted. Let their lives be transformed. Mm -hmm. Let their lives receive the necessary deliverance required in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We cover tonight's edition in the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Mm -hmm. Beloved, the truth must be said. The Bible warned in Osea 4 6 that inadequate knowledge can lead to disastrous consequences. One of the highly fundamental tactics of spiritual warfare is to underestimate the rule of the game or to underestimate the capacity of your enemy. In case you do not know, we have been saying this before and we are still saying it again. The war has begun. Look around your environment. Things are not going on as it used to be. The war has begun right from the time. Oh yes, when COVID-19 started, yes, there was something that said, oh son, the, the, your surroundings is no longer as it used to be. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And beloved, the truth is, when there is war, and children of God are not discerning enough that there is war, if care is not taken, such people will become a victim of war. May you not be a victim of war in Jesus' name. Ignorance of the tactics of the enemy, enemy the, the tactics the enemy deploys could lead to a loss, incapacitation, or injury. The Bible says, unto us is given to know the mysteries of heaven. It is not given to them in the world. And that's why the way we react to things, the way, the way we handle matters, the way that we take charge of situations, must be in a proactive manner so that we will not become a victim in this end time. I pray for you as I pray for myself. The Lord will lift us up and we shall all be victorious in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Quickly before we go ahead tonight, let's quickly give honor to whom honor is due. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is kind. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. 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 Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God 
we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Ever and at our door, angels bow before. What a mighty God we Oh, hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, hallelujah, heaven and earth are done. Oh, yes, angels. Oh, yes, what a Mighty God, we serve. Glory, honor, power, majesty, be unto Christ our Lord. Glory, honor, glory, honor, power, majesty, oh, be unto Christ our Lord. It is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in my sight. It is the Lord's doing. We will praise Him. Hallelujah. It is the Lord's doing. Oh yes, it is marvelous Ah, it is the Lord's doing. We we pray, we we praise Him from ever, oh everlasting. We we praise Him, everlasting. Oh, we we praise Him, everlasting to us. We we praise him. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set us free from sin and sorrow. The blood. Open your mouth and sing that song. Oh yes, the blood of Jesus. Oh yes, from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set us free. Beyond the sky, power set us free. Holy Ghost power. Power, power. Holy Ghost power. Power, power. Almighty power, oh power, power, Holy Ghost power, power, power. Oh yes, I say we are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God. Who has given us victory? Hallelujah! We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God. I pray tonight the good Lord will give us victory in Jesus' name. Our God is good. I want you to quickly pray the following prayers for yourself like this. Amen. You are going to pray. Say, O Lord God of this program, arise this morning, this night. Arise this night. Destroy every battles in my spiritual and physical life. In the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord God of this program, arise this night. Destroy every battles. Oh yes, in my physical and spiritual life. In the name of Jesus, O Lord God of this program, arise tonight. Destroy every battles in my physical and spiritual life. Destroy every battles in my in my physical and spiritual life. 
destroy every battles in my physical and spiritual life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to pray. Say, every destiny destroyers are signed against my life. Your end has come tonight. Collide with the rock of ages and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Every, oh, yes, Lord. Yes. Every destroyers of destinies are signed against my life. I say, collide with the rock of ages. Collide with the rock of ages. Collide with the rock of ages. Collide with the rock of ages and die. Collide with the rock of ages. Collide with the rock of ages. Collide with the rock of ages. Every destroyers of destiny. Every terminator of destiny. Oh yes, Lord. Are signed against my life. Against my interests. Collide with the rock of ages. Collide with the rock of ages. I pray for your people tonight. Oh yes, Lord. Every destroyer of destiny. Terminator of destiny. Are signed against their life. Let that power collide with the rock of ages. And die. Let them collide. 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 And die. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Spirit of poverty, afflicting my destiny from birth. You are wicked. You are a liar. Die by fire, by thunder. Pray for yourself. Spirit of poverty, afflicting my destiny from birth. Enough is enough. Die now. 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 Die. In Jesus' mighty name, they are dead. Place your hand on your legs as you pray this next one. Say you the glory of my legs in captivity. Receive deliverance tonight by the power and the blood of Jesus. You the glory of my legs in captivity. Receive right now. We oh, yes, Lord. Deliverance tonight by the power and the blood of Jesus. Receive that. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. I pray for you tonight. I decree that your legs shall carry you far. That your leg will not carry you into trouble. With that leg, you not walk into danger. As the Lord liveth and the Spirit is alive, when there is danger lurking in the front, behind, or anywhere around you, that leg will carry you far to your safety in the mighty name of Jesus. I say that leg will take you to the place of your destiny. Oh yes, it was Abraham's leg that took him out of his father's house and took him to his promised land. I decree upon your life, your leg will take you to the right place. Your leg will take you to the right place. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is well with you all. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Once again tonight, we want to specially welcome you to tonight's edition of the Hour of Glory. I pray, after this night, I decree that your life will never, never be the same again in Jesus' name. Tonight, by the grace of God, we are going to be looking at discerning your enemy's strategy. So that you can prevail in your battle. Discerning your enemy strategy so that you can prevail in your battle. Praise the name of the Lord. In case you do not know, the war is going on already. Do not allow yourself to be deceived. Do not allow flesh to deceive you. There is war everywhere right now. There is tension, spiritual and physical. I pray the good Lord will give us understanding. Give us the power to discern so that we can attain our victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ignorance is not an excuse in the war front. Ignorance is not an excuse. And that's why the Bible says, even in the time of old, even till this moment, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and only the violent that will take it by force. I declare upon our life tonight the power to prevail in this very delicate age. The Lord will bestow upon you now, tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus. I said it again that inadequate knowledge. Of the tactics the enemy uses can lead to some undesirable consequences. May contrary consequences not be a portion in the name of Jesus. And that's why I want you to listen attentively tonight. Because when you are able to discern and understand the tactics your enemy have been using over the years, oh yes, surely, surely, the, the Lord will help you to prevail in your battle. Many of us don't know that the devil has never changed tactics. The devil has always used the same strategy right from time. He doesn't have any new thing to present. Praise the Lord. But he will color it in a way. And unfortunately, because people cannot read, people cannot discern. The spiritual understanding is not there. Many are not empowered by the Holy Ghost. And that's why they cannot see when the enemy is doing this manipulation. I pray for you. Your understanding will open tonight. Your intellect will open. Your heart will open. Every good thing concerning your life will open. 
and God will seal into you divine instructions in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our scripture, our foundational scripture in today's program shall be taken from the book of Nehemiah. We're going to be learning some very vital truth from that scripture tonight. I pray God will give us understanding in Jesus' name. Nehemiah 6 from verse 1 to 5. Nehemiah 6 from verse 1 to 5. This young man was a man who was able to key into God's vision. He knew when God was pruning and said, Son, move. Son, do this. Son, do that. Praise the Lord. He was well placed. He was working in the king's palace. He was working very well. He was doing very well. But because he was a man of the spirit, God was telling him, I've anointed you to lead your people, to deliver your people. But you are here enjoying your pleasure in the palace of the king. But one day, the man came to himself and said, No, I must go ahead to do what God wants me to do. Before then, the condition of Jerusalem was a very bad one. Jerusalem, his fatherland, his motherland was in a very bad state. Praise the name of the Lord. The enemy has totally destroyed and may bear all the glory of Jerusalem. And here is a young man, God is saying, move. I'm going to lead you to deliver these people. Praise the name of the Lord. I do not know what the condition around your own environment. I do not know what is happening in your vicinity, in your family, in your, in your office, in everything around you. If everything has been put down by the power that helped Nehemiah, tonight you shall walk into victory. You shall run into victory concerning your own life in Jesus' name. In Nehemiah 6 from verse 1 to 5, we have some very important things to learn there. And the Bible said, you see, and the word of God came to Sambalat, Tobiah. When, sorry, when word came to Sambalat, from verse 1, Nehemiah 6 from verse 1, when word came to Sambalat, Tobiah, Geshmen, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies, that I had built the wall, and not a gap was left in it. Though up to that time, I had not set the doors in the gates. Sambalat and Geshen sent me a message. Come, let us meet together in one of the villages on the plain of Ono. Let me quickly give a quick background about this story. This man was doing what God has instructed him to do. He was trying to repair the walls of his father's land. He was trying to recover back the glory of Jerusalem. And here are his enemies. When they knew that he was doing something good, they came. They were not happy. And that is the way the army behaves. Anytime you see some extra battle, it's an indication. There are certain glory in your life the enemy is not happy about. As we, as we can see here in the life of, of Nehemiah. Praise the name of the Lord. I read on. He said, but they were scheming to arm me. So I sent messengers to them with this reply. I'm carrying on a great project and I cannot go down. Why should the work stop? Why I leave it and go down to you? You can imagine them inviting him to come for a meeting. When the man is doing very important thing, I pray for you. Any power summoning you to leave Lord, your glory straight, to leave your duty position, to come and attend to frivolities, those powers shall be disgraced and disappointed in the name of Jesus. I read on. He said, four times they sent me the same message. And each time, you can imagine, one time, second time, third time, four times, they sent me the same message. And each time I gave them the same answer. Then the fifth time, Sambala sent his aid to me with the same message. And in his hand was an unsealed letter. Praise the name of the Lord. He was persistent. He sent him the same message over and over. Leave the work you are doing and come. I say I decree upon your destiny. Every forces of evil that want to distract you from your winning position, the Lord shall destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. We must never be moved by the scheme of the enemy. You recall some time ago in the Bible times when Elijah was on the mountain. He said, man of God, the, the enemies came. He says, come down. They asked him to come down. He said, no. Instead of me to come down, 
let fire come down and consume you. Praise the name of the Lord. I decree upon your destiny tonight, every forces of evil that is asking you to come down from the glory of well-being, from the glory of divine transformation, from the glory of divine victory, the Lord shall scatter them asunder in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, what we are talking about tonight is discerning your enemy strategy so that you can win in your battle. Praise the Lord. Because of our time, quickly we are going to go in to look at each of these strategies the enemy has deployed over time. Praise the name of the Lord. What are those strategies the enemy have been using against our lives? I want you to listen attentively tonight. Praise the Lord. We must always be, a, we must always be aware of the strategy and the tactics of the enemy so that we can protect ourselves, our community, our interests, our family at all times. Praise the Lord. What are the, those tactics the enemy deploys? Especially when we are those that are working in God's vineyard, that are active for God, that are in his presence at all times. Praise the Lord. Number one started, tactic the enemy deploy is deception. Of course, Jesus himself came to showcase the enemy, came to expose his schemes. He said he's a liar, he's a father of liars. Praise the name of the Lord. Number one tactics is deception. He knows how to deceive. You can see all the things he has done over the years, as far as mankind is concerned, how he deceived Eve and told and said all manner of things. Schemed is a father of deception. Praise the name of the Lord. And we need to understand that. Praise the Lord. Another tactic the enemy deploys is the tactic of persistence. The enemy is persistent in the way he does things. It's persistence. If he loses before you now, that's not to mean that he will not come back. And that's why you need to be you need to have clear understanding. And that's why the Bible said it very clearly, uh, just like that songwriter said, uh, the pilgrim. He said, Christian, seek yet not repose. That's songwriter. Stop resting when you are supposed to be in battlefront. The Bible says we should fight the good fight of faith. The enemy never gives hope. Praise the Lord. And as long as you are here, as long as you are here in this place, praise the Lord, it's a place of warfare. You must continue to fight your good fight of faith so that you can attain your victory as God has desired for you. I pray that shall be our Lord and portion in Jesus' name. What other tactics? Because we are going to explain this in details as time will permit us. Another tactic the enemy deploys is the tactics of slander and gossip. Slander and gossip. Another one is the tactic of physiological warfare. It works through fear and discouragement. What other tactics of the enemy de uh, deploys? The enemy's tactics also is to infiltrate our lives with false teaching, false understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. In fact, it will try to keep the word far from you. And many do not know that when you meditate on this word, those word, according to Joshua 1 verse 8, your life will get better meaning. Amen. In fact, God will speak to you more excellently. More, more, more regularly. God will speak to you more regularly. Praise the Lord. Many do not know that ability to discern, to understand, to hear the word of knowledge, the word of understanding, is right there inside the word. The more you read that word, the more God gives understanding. You are not an ordinary being any longer. I pray God will give us grace tonight in Jesus' name. Another tactic is the tactic of, of attacking you right after victory. We must be very careful. The enemy likes to attack when the person has just gotten his victory. You have just gotten a breakthrough. That's why you come like a flood. But thank God for God. He said, even if the enemy comes like a flood, the Lord Almighty God will raise a standard. I declare upon your life and upon my life tonight, every enemy, every flood of the enemy shall be met with God's standard and destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Another tactic of the enemy is to want to infiltrate you so that you can compromise. He wants to infiltrate you so that you can compromise. And that's what are we talking about. He wants you to fall into sin so that the, the, the edge of God around about you can break off so that you become vulnerable. You are on your own. May you never be on your own. May the host of heaven arise and surround you and fight your battle. Fight my battle even at your low times in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to be explaining in details each of those points we just mentioned. We start with the enemy 
the tactics of deception. Praise the name of the Lord. Just like we read, when the word came to Sambalat, Tobias, Goshen, the Arab, and the rest of the enemies, that I had rebuilt the wall and not a gap was left. That place we read. You recall what happened. They started doing all manner of schemes. They told Nehemiah, he said, what is this self you have built? Is this what you want? What have you done? What are you even doing? You don't even have nothing to do. Praise the Lord. You recall that Nehemiah was the governor of Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. He was the governor of Israel. You can imagine. A governor who is doing his duty to distract him. He said, come down. Stop the work you are doing. Just come down. Come down. Come and address us. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray God will deliver us from the hands of our enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, for you to be able to know all these tactics and understand them very well, number one thing you need to have in mind, you must put upon yourself the whole armor of God. And that armor starts with, the, with having the power of discernment in you. The power of discernment. The power of discernment. Discernment comes from knowing God's word, just like I said earlier on. You must have the power of discernment in you. Discernment comes from understanding human nature. You must have the power of discernment in you. When, this, when the power of discernment comes upon you, you'll be able to understand the strategy and the scheme the enemy is trying to use. Discernment also comes from prayers. I have said it again, and I'm saying it again. If you want the power of discernment from the Almighty God, ability to understand where you are, your environment, decode the position you are, and know how to come out to manifest your victory at all times. You need the power of discernment. How does that power, how does that power come? It comes by you understanding the word. When you know the word, I tell you, they that know they are God, they shall be strong, they shall do exploit. The power comes from understanding human nature. Because when you have an understanding, spiritual understanding, it will open the door of human understanding. Irrespective of anything, any other knowledge might have acquired in this world, whether you went to school or not. No. As, as soon as you understand, you are, you are keyed and deepened in the word of God, I tell you, the power of the summit will so come that you begin to perceive and see how humans do their things. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody can be talking with you and it's lying on the lies of this world. But the Spirit will be telling you, son, don't hear all those things. So. All those things, the person is saying a lie. Praise the Lord. And you just watch. Praise the Lord. You won't say anything. So when you know and you are dipping in the word of God, oh yes, you are strengthening your inner spiritual man. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh yes, also the, the, the sermon comes from you understanding the nature of man. The Bible says he has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Everything that pertains to life and godliness. Praise the name of the Lord. It will give you understanding, deep understanding of how men does their things. And when you have that understanding, of course, you are a victor any time. The, the summit also comes from prayer. In today's world, people no longer pray. Believers are not praying. What they do is complain 24-7. You need to complain less and begin to pray more. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you have the power to change things in your favor. If this is not going the right way you want it, you have the power to change it by the power of prayer. Jeremiah 1 from verse 9 says, This day I have set the over nation, over kingdom, to root out, to build, to plant, by the power of your mouth. Before that, that happened, God anointed the tongue of Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, Oh, I'm a child. He said, No, you are not a child. Right before, from the belly, I knew you, and I anointed you to superintend over the nation. I speak to somebody tonight. Oh, yes. Who is becoming faint hearted because of things around you? I decree. Divine strength to function like Nehemiah. Divine strength to overcome. Divine strength to be victorious. Receive now in the mighty name of Jesus. Very quickly, let's run mind on some of those tactics the enemy uses. Praise the name of the Lord. Just like we said, the enemy uses persistence. To recall what happened in the story of Joseph and Potiphar's wife. The enemy uses persistence. It's very persistent. As we saw in Nehemiah's life, five times the enemy keeps coming. And he's telling the enemy the same answer, yet it kept coming. The enemy kept coming. 
every enemy that will not let you go. Almighty God will come down with his fury and chop them to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. It happens also in the life of Joseph. In Genesis 39 verse 5. You see, Bible says, and day after day, she kept asking him to lie with her. I'm talking of Potiphar, Potiphar's wife, and Joseph. Persistence. Every day. On Monday, the young man told her, no, I can't do this. I can't do this great, great injustice to my master. Tuesday, she came again. Wednesday, she came. Thursday, she came. Friday, she came. She continued to come until... At when he knew that the man, the man would not give up, he now said he now decided to do what she now decided to do what she did in order to rope her. I decree for you, every enemy around you that stand to rope you, that stand to set a trap for you, their plan will backfire upon their head. In the mighty name of Jesus, we need to learn some lessons from the life of our of the Bishop of our soul, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in Matthew four. After Jesus after fasted, have tarried upon the Lord, waited on the Lord, prayed and done it, he was victorious. He has done so, so mighty, mighty things. Praise the name of the Lord. Suddenly the enemy appeared in Matthew 4. You call what happened? Three times. Three, di three different temptations were coming left, right, and center. Praise the name of the Lord. Bow before me. I will give you the old word. Does, she, does he own the old word? It's a, it's a wicked impersonator. He does not own the world. Praise the Lord. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. But Jesus had did no knew because he had, he had understanding. He was telling Jesus, bow before me, I give you the word. The devil does not own the world. The devil does not own this earth. He only owns the cro cro crooked worldly system. Praise the Lord. The crooked worldly system that will not stand the test of time. Because... In good time, God will destroy every ungodliness that has associated with that. Praise the Lord. He told him, he said, turn, turn bread, turn, turn a stone to bread. See, what is the meaning of all this? Praise the Lord. Man cannot live by bread alone now. Abba, what's wrong with you, this man? He told Jesus again. He didn't stop. He said, jump down. You can imagine. Jump down. God, 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 will, God will send his angels to pick, to take you up. Say, look at and Jesus rebuked him in all the three occasions. But one thing is constant there. The enemy was persistent. And so I want to beg you by the mercies of God. As long as you are here in this world, at all times, you must have your mindset prepared for war. It is war time. Don't have this feeling that, oh yes, we have won all the battles. The more you win those battles, the, the more the enemy will want to come in one way or the other. I decree upon your life, as even I'm decreeing upon my life, the Lord shall always give us victory in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy uses persistence. The enemy uses persistence. Praise the name of the Lord. You recall what happened in the life of Peter. When Jesus already told him, of, unfortunately, Jesus told him, you are going to deny me three times. He didn't know. You are going to deny me three times. In the same way many of us are denying Christ today. But instead of him to pray, he was glo gl gl glossing over confidence. Over confidence will not do it. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why at all times, you need to have a clear understanding. That it's not by might or by power, but by the Spirit. If Peter had prayed, he would have overcome that temptation. And what did the enemy do? In order for him to deny very well, three times, the enemy came the first time. Are you not one of these disciples? The man denied the first time. He ran away from there. Went to another location. He got to another location. And I, I, I said, I say, you are one of these people. Ha, the man denied. Run away from that area. Went to another place. Until he denied three times. And the cock crowed. Praise the name of the Lord. I declare upon your life. Every persistent scheme of darkness. Every persistent scheme of the enemy. To make you fall. To destroy your destiny. To destroy your moving forward. The Lord shall terminate them tonight. In Jesus name. You will also recall what happened, how the enemy slandered Job. How the enemy slandered Job. He's a slanderer. That's, what, 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 that's another strategy the enemy uses. He's a slanderer. How he slandered Job. Praise the Lord. 
He said, God said, oh, have you considered my servant Job? He went back to God and said, does Job fear you for nothing? How can you bless a man so much like this? And you say he will not uh, continue to go to church. He will not know you. Take all those things from me and let's see whether he will, whether he will follow you. You can imagine. Praise the name of the Lord. But thank God that at the end of the day, Job was victorious. Praise the name of the Lord. Satan also slandered Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Satan also slandered Jesus Christ. To the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Each time they are always accusing him. This power you are using, say, where is it from? You can imagine somebody doing good on the Sabbath day. And they will say, Abba, why should you be doing good on the Sabbath day? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Instead of them to commend the good he is doing, they are complaining about that good. You can imagine. I believe God will deliver us from this ungodly, wicked world in Jesus' name. Christ himself was slandered and killed by the Pharisees. They trumped up many false witnesses against him to lie about him. They said he was of the devil. They reported him to the ship. They reported him to the authority at that time. In fact, at the point in time, they preferred even a thief to Jesus. They slandered him in so many ways. Praise the Lord. At a point in time, the chief priest and the old Sir Henry were looking for false evidence against Jesus. They did their scheme until they found Judas. And Judas sold his master because of 30 shekels. I decree, I declare for you, every enemy surrounding you that the enemy have been using to pull you down, to slander you, to destroy your destiny, the Lord shall scatter them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Why does the enemy use slander? Why does the enemy use slander? When you slander a Christian, they become discouraged. For instance, where you see a person doing good, and people start stoning that good that the person is doing to evil, before you know it, the person will withhold his hand or her hand and say, Ha, I am trying to do good, though they are turning the good to evil. And that's what the enemy does. Because when the, enemy, when the devil comes and begins to slander, he wants to discourage. I remember some time ago, somebody was a good philanthropist. He was giving out his money. He was doing so many things, building project here, building project there. And he was a believer. He was a Christian. And before you know it, he said it's blood money. He said it's blood money. Paying for people's hospital bills, providing food stuff for people, doing all manner of things, as the Lord will help him. He said it's blood money. He slandered him so much. That it got to a point, he was even afraid to even do any good for that. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's the plan of the enemy. When you are doing anything good, he does not want you to do it. He does not want you to continue to do it. Praise the Lord. I pray God will deliver us and give us understanding tonight in Jesus' name. So slander is, when the enemy deploys slander, his, his intention is to discourage the Christians. He wants to discourage you from doing good. Praise the Lord. Maybe you are trying to be pass, pass, you are trying to persevere, you are trying to be consistent, and you see from nowhere, slander will just start flying left, right, and center. And slander can come from any quarter. Even the devil used the wife of Job. The man was trying to be steadfast in his faith. He said, "My friend, cause God and die." What kind of faith is this? There are people who will slander you. Say you are praying too much. Abba, wait thing. Ah, come out, come and do important thing. Pray, 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 pray. It's part of the slander of the enemy. You must not give in to slanders. Because the intention of the enemy, the agenda of the enemy, is to discourage you in that good thing you are doing. Praise the Lord. Slander is meant to, is meant to make you change focus. Maybe you are one that is doing something as God has directed you to do. He would want to scatter that thing so that you will change your focus. You will change direction. In the same way, he wanted to do it in the life of Nehemiah. He slandered him. So what kind of building is this self? Even if a fire will run through this wall, the thing will just collapse. What kind of wall is this? Is this how to build a wall? It said all manner of things. But the man was consistent, was steadfast. And at the end of the day, he achieved victory. Praise the name of the Lord. Slander is also meant to bring division. When the enemy slanders, the intention is to bring division. Amen. Whether maybe you see a church 
where things are working very well among the company of believers. Because they are in one un they are in unity. Because that's the, that's the power of unity. When men and women are uni united in faith, in spirit, great and mighty wonders happen. But where there is division, I tell you, nothing will happen around there. Praise the Lord. And when they see sometimes that within a church, love is flowing, people know what to do at all times, have understanding like the children of Issachar, they come in all, with all manner of lies here and there, deception. They begin to slander. They will slander the leader. They will slander the worker. They will slander A. They will slander B. And usually, the people they always slander are those that are most active. The most potent weapon of the kingdom of God. Those are the ones they will slander. Praise the Lord. The ones that do not come to church, that always miss fellowship, that are not interested in the prayer, the nobody slanders them. But those ones that are consistent, are those themselves that the ones the enemy targets to slander so that it can put a stoppage to whatever good works that is going on. I pray God will deliver us tonight. God will give us victory tonight as we came to this understanding in Jesus' name. How do you overcome slander? You need to confront slander by telling the truth. The Bible says, it says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. In Nehemiah 6 verse 8 where we read, Nehemiah was very clear. He sent them reply. Praise the Lord. He sent them reply. I am busy. It's as simple as that. You must confront slander by trusting God the more. Don't say because of slander, you leave the work God has positioned in your hand. God will not be happy. Praise the name of the Lord. God will not be happy. Many a times, many of us take decisions because of men. It has happened to me. You take some decisions because of the attitude of men. When you do that, heaven will not be happy. It happened to me. Praise the Lord. A, a, a person within the church set, setting them was doing certain things which I did not like. I said, okay, I leave it for you. Okay, go ahead and do what you are doing. And when the account of God came to me, he said, son, where were those people when I was saving you? Where were those people when I was empowering you? Where were those people you took the their, you took you took cognizance of and you took a decision when I was being with you I was fighting your battle for you. He says, "Son, for this thing you have done, you have set back the work of the kingdom." Praise the name of the Lord. So be mindful how you react to what humans are saying. Be very mindful because what they want to do is to drive you down, and you can decide to refuse to go down. Praise the name of the Lord. And when they come, just like you have the shield of faith, as soon as they are firing, they are firing their darts. All you just need to do by faith, clear them away and move on, spiritually and physically. Praise the name of the Lord. You must continue to trust God the more when the enemy comes with his slander. And that is how and the only way we can have our victory. I, think, I pray God shall help us all to achieve that in Jesus' name. Another plan of the enemy most times is the tactics of infiltration through false teaching. Then we will come with false teaching. Praise the name of the Lord. All he does is that he wants you to become so confused. And unfortunately, because the world we are today are only interested in reading people, they are not reading their Bible. Stop reading people, rather read your Bible. That's where the truth is. Praise the Lord. They don't want to read the, the, the Bible, they are reading their pastors. Reading their church leader, reading this, reading that, reading the body, body, this of that and that. Read your Bible instead. That's where the truth is. Praise the Lord. And when you are grounded in the truth, no false doctrine can scatter your direction. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. Every man's mountain is the mountain of his own ignorance. We are too ignorant in this age, and it's not good. Praise the Lord. So if you want to overcome the tactics of the enemy's situation with false teaching, you must know him. They that know their God, they shall be strong, they shall do exploit. You must know him. Meditate on this word day in and day out. Joshua 1 verse 8. So that you can have good success. You must know God. Even Romans 1 verse 28 made it clear. Is it because they did not like to retain God in their knowledge? They were given over to reprobate mind. To do those things which are not willing. You must know God. You must know him through his word. It's when you have a clear understanding. 
that you know that, oh yes, you are well positioned. The enemy cannot play games with your destiny. I pray that shall be our lot and portion in Jesus' name. Another weapon the enemy uses is the weapon of fear. Is the weapon of fear. Many today in today's world do not have faith. Listen, let me make it clear today. Fear comes by what you hear. Faith also comes by what you hear. What the Bible says, it says faith coming by hearing. Hearing by what? Is it by what uh, uh, what uh, motivate, motivating speakers are talking? No. It comes faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Fear also comes by hearing by the schemes of darkness, by the scheme of Satan. So it depends on which one you want to take. Faith coming by the hearing of the word of God. Fear also come, comes if you are the type that do not want to hear the word. You are not interested in understanding the word, reading the word. Of course, that art situation, that art environment can never be like that. Something must take it over. May the enemy not take your system over in Jesus' name. What are the reasons why the enemy deploys fear? It's also to make believers become discouraged. In order to defeat fear, we must recognize that fear is not of God. We must recognize that fear is not of God. What God deploys is faith. The Bible says we should add unto our faith virtue. Praise the Lord. He said faith is the substance of things, oh, for the assurance of things not seen. He said when a man has faith, it is an indication that it is the only way, yes, that that uh, because God Himself is diligent, is the reward of them that diligence is seeking. Without it, it's, in, it's impossible to please God. Praise the name of the Lord. In order to defeat fear, we must recognize that our resources is in the El Shaddai God, is the all knowing, is the one that can do all things for us. I do not know what is what is the fear that is going on in your mind. Whatever it is, God is able. God is much more than that situation you are passing through. Are you are you afraid for your health? Are you afraid for situation around you? Are you afraid for what is going on in your country? Are you afraid for what is going on in the land? Are you afraid for what is going on around your environment, even the globe in the world in the world over? You don't need to fear, my brother. What you need to do is to have faith. To be prayerful, praise the name of the Lord. We, we must recognize that our resource to glory, our resource to lifting, is in the hand of God Almighty. The Bible says, From whence comes my help? He said, I look upon the hills. From whence comes my help? Psalms 121. My help comes from God, who makes the heavens and the heart. Praise the Lord. So, the ways by which we can defeat fear is to recognize that, number one, that fear is of the devil. Number two, that our greatest resource is Almighty God Himself. You must have that clear understanding. And what other understanding do you need to have? You must also, you, you must also understand the power of prayers. When you pray as regular as possible, surely you will defeat fear. No matter the condition, no matter the situation, no matter how bad the situation may be looking around you, those situations can 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 can, can, can bow by the power of prayers. That's why we need to have a clear understanding of the power of prayer. And I want to, I want to please beg you by the mercies of God. And that's why I thank God for the ministry where we belong, the Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministries. It's a place where your hand is trained to walk. Don't ever you fall for this scheme and saying people are praying for you. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. You must pray. You need to pray for yourself. God loves you too. In the same way he loves all those men of God, ministers of God. You must pray for yourself. No prayer can equate to the one you pray for yourself. And I pray God will key us into this understanding in Jesus' name. Listen, listen, and listen. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. But much prayer will also lead to much power. And I decree it. Your government of prayer, the power to continually pray without tiring out. Receive your own portion. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy also specializes in attacking shortly after victory. Maybe you have just received the good news. Oh, this is what the, what's happening. The enemy is not happy. 
The enemy is not happy. And what 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 what's he planning to do? He wants to destabilize. He has done that several times. You saw what happened in the time of Nehemiah, our case study today. In Nehemiah 6, take your time and read Nehemiah 6 from the beginning from verse 1 even to 19. You see what, all that happened there. Despite all the victory, that young man was championing and with the support he had from his people, the enemy were not happy. The host of Tambalat, Tobia, Tobias. Praise the name of the Lord. So the enemy knows how to attack when you are getting your victory. And that's why you must never be tired. You must operate as a Nehemiah minister in this age that we have. You must operate. Don't leave your guard. The Bible says we should watch and pray. Watch and pray. And that's the maxim. You don't let down your guard. Don't let down your guard. When you are praying, don't, sometimes you may not pray with the two eyes closed. Pray with one eye open. Watch and pray. Praise the Lord. That's what it means. When you see the Bible say watch and pray, it simply means open one eye and pray. Praise the Lord. The Bible does not say you should close your two eyes when you are praying. Praise the Lord. You must watch and pray. And when you are alert, when you are alert, when you are alert, when your sense of discernment is 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 up, is is top notch, is is operating soundly, I tell you, no matter the schemes of the devil and the enemy, before the enemy comes, the Lord has shown you. That's the good thing with our God. I pray for you as I pray for myself. The Almighty God will give us great victory over the enemies of our destinies in Jesus' name. The enemy also wants you to compromise. The enemy wants you to compromise. Of course, you know what he did to Joseph. As soon as the enemy saw that this man, it seems God is taking him. That, that dream the man has been having ah, is about to come to pass. The enemy started doing all manner of things to make the man fall. Sent him to prison, did all manner of things. But did it happen? No. Compromise is a terrible thing. Compromise is dangerous. The enemy wants Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior to compromise, but he did not. The enemy wants Joseph to compromise in his time, but he did not. He did not. Praise the Lord. There are a good number of men of God who the enemy wants to compromise, but they did not. They refused to compromise. Compromise spread like yeast. Once you compromise in one area, it will destabilize situation in virtually so many areas. If the enemy not take advantage of you in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. If you are the type who have compromised in any way or form, I decree, you need to cry to God tonight and say, Lord, please, even as the ministration is going on now, say, Lord, please have mercy upon me. Compromise is not good. It removes, the God's, it removes God's blessings from our environment and vicinity. That's compromise for you. It removes the intimacy you have with God. When Adam and Eve compromised, the God that they speak with openly before, they started hiding. Because the intimacy was no longer there. I heard your voice and I hid myself. That's what Adam said. Why are you hiding? The same God he was titating with, was talking with, was so, part, was, was so close to, the same God he started hiding from. That's the terrible thing of compromise. Compromise will in that intimacy. It will destroy so many things. I decree upon your life and your destiny. Every condition, cage of compromise, the enemy has placed anyone among you. Anyone tonight, the Lord shall mightily deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. I do not want tonight anyone to have any plastic experience because we are going to start praying right now. We are about to get into the strategic hour. The strategic hour is an hour meant to recover back everything the enemy has taken from you. To reposition your victory to the maximum. That's what the strategic hour is. And it's a covenant hour. It's the joker of this program. Right now, I want you to begin to talk to your God. And begin to ask God, say, Lord, Father, in any way I have compromised before you, Lord, have mercy upon me. Father, Lord, have compassion upon me. In all the areas I have compromised, in the way I have done things before your presence, whether compromised through sin, doing what you ought not to be doing, you have done so many things, funny, funny things here and there. 
This is the tower. You must not have plastic experience tonight. Come before your maker. Cry to him now and say, Lord, please have mercy. Come to him now and say, please, Lord, have mercy. Lord, please have mercy. Lord, please have mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Beloved, the Lord said in the book of Ephesians 6, He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness, both in all high places. The enemy we are fighting with is a spiritual enemy. The enemy we are fighting with is not, is not, is not, is not a human. You need to understand. Even sometimes when the enemy uses some human, it enters in them, into them, and do the damage he wants to do. Praise the Lord. The enemy can enter into a person and manifest, in case you don't know. Within a twinkling of few minutes and hours, the same, uh, the same person, Peter, who Jesus was asking, who, who, who am I? He said, you are the son of the most high God. Within twinkling, few minutes, something happened again and Jesus was asking to say, Peter, something. And Peter was saying something else. And, God, and Jesus told him that, get deep behind me, you Satan. Because the devil entered him already that time. He was saying what he ought not to say. And Jesus rebuked him. Praise the name of the Lord. So that is the strategy of the devil. The forces of evil we are fighting it is spiritual. And you need to put on every of the armor of the Most High God. Put on the old armor. That is your own spiritual weapon. And I decree the good Lord will make it in our, make it in our life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, if you are here and you are here to give your life to Christ, beloved, nothing can happen if you don't have Christ. Whoever is not in Christ is inviting crisis into his or her life. May Christ not be your portion or our portion in Jesus' name. So you must surrender to him tonight and say, Lord, please, in any way I have come short of your glory, have mercy upon me. My life has been in crisis, but I know since I've seen you tonight, since you, have, you are here tonight, you can come to my rescue. Open your mouth and talk to God now. Do not allow this hour to pass you by. Because the angels that will do wonders in various homes, various places, they are already positioned to do their own. It is not me. It is them. Because that is the covenant. At a particular point in time, they are positioned to do their wonders. And we are entering that hour now, the strategic hour. Talk to God now tonight and say, Lord, please have mercy upon me. In all the ways I have come short of you, come short of your glory. Don't even your sight. Lord, have mercy, O Lord. 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 Father, we call upon your holy name. Have mercy upon your people. In every way they have come short, Lord. Please, Lord, by your mercy, have compassion upon them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Are you there you want to renew your covenant with him? Or you want to give your life afresh to him? And I want you to say the following prayers with me. Say, Father Lord, I thank you for this grace tonight. Come and show me mercies. In accordance with your word, that say with my sins as, as red as crimson, you can make me white again as snow. Come to my rescue tonight. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me my trespasses. Forgive me my sins. I will not go back into sin. I am for you. Take me as your son. Take me as your daughter. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you have prayed that prayer with me and you are here now, I want your faith to be agreed with mine as I pray in this direction with you. My Father, my God, I commit your children into your hands. They have surrendered themselves to you tonight. Come in thy mercy and manifest your wonders in Jesus' name. As many as come short of your glory, Lord, arise. Let the grace of restoration manifest in their life tonight. Have mercy, cleanse them, wash them, make them whole. And Lord, come and be their God and let them be your people from tonight onward in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, as we go into prayers right now, I decree again furthermore, every yoke, every yoke of the devil, every yoke of Satan, every ongoing project of the darkness in the life of anyone tonight, I decree as we enter into the hour of prayers, they shall all be delivered in the name of Jesus. Every ongoing project of darkness, whether it's of witchcraft power, 
of marine power, satanic power, of host of darkness in, in, in themselves, whether in the waters, on the land, in the heavenlies, they shall be terminated tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. That day, according to your word in Exodus 14, 14, he said, you will fight our battle while we hold our peace. That day, arise. Don't hold your peace tonight. O oh God of our praise, come and manifest your wonders. Fight your battle. Fight this battle for your people. And at the end, glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray the following prayers right now. Thank God it is the strategic hour. It has started now. You must pray for yourself right now. Just a few minutes prayers. And the God Almighty will work mighty wonders in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you right now, wherever you are, begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon your spirit, soul, and body. Yes, Lord. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon your spirit, soul, and body. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon your body. Pray. Begin to plead that blood right now. The blood. Oh, yeah. Begin to plead. That blood saved us. That blood delivered us. I plead the blood of Jesus upon your life. I plead upon my life, my own family too. I plead the blood of Jesus upon our lives. I plead the blood of Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon your life right now. I plead the blood of Jesus upon you right there. It is well with you. It is well with us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And you are going to pray right now. Amen. You are going to shout it with every aggression. Say, incision of darkness in any part of my life may wash away this night by the power and the blood of Jesus. Incision of darkness in any area of my life be washed away by the blood of Jesus. 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 Be washed away now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God just notified me. You have not sung my song. Please sing this song with me. God of wonders. God of wonders. Come and do your wonders in my life. God of wonders. God of wonders. Come and do what only you can do. Hallelujah. God of wonders. Oh, yes. God of wonders, come and do your wonders in my life. Hallelujah, God of wonders. Oh yes, God of wonders, come and do what only you. Oh, hallelujah, God of wonders. Oh, hallelujah, God of wonder. Oh, yes, come and do your wonders in my life. Hallelujah, God of wonders. Oh, God of wonders, come and do what only you can. Our God is good. The God of wonders shall manifest his wonders in our individual and collective lives in Jesus' name. When the strategic hour right now, please, I want you to pray for yourself. It's very important. You are going to take the next prayer point like this. You are going to pray. Say, powers around my environment. Crying against my moving forward. Your end has come tonight. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Powers around my life, in my surroundings. Crying against my moving forward. Your end has come tonight. Die, 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 die. I command you to die. We command you to die. I declare right now every powers surrounding your people, crying against their moving forward, crying against their progress. We command them to die, 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 die. In Jesus' mighty name, they are dead. Powers, evil powers cry. They told Elijah, Elijah, come down. The man said, it's care of me to come down. Let fire come down. Praise the Lord. I declare upon your life, every power declaring against your moving forward tonight, the fire of God shall consume and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to pray. Say every demonic doorway that has been opened against my life, Against my moving forward, against my, my, my program, I close you tonight by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every demonic doorway that be opened against my life, oh yes, open against my destiny, 
Oh yes, I close you tonight by the power of the blood of Jesus. I close you tonight. I close you tonight. I close you tonight. I close you tonight. Every demonic blood way that have been opened against my life, against my progress, wherever they are coming from, I close you tonight. I close you tonight in the name of Jesus. I declare upon your destiny tonight. Every demonic doorway that the enemy has opened over your life in order to torment you, to afflict you, to cause you to fail, to fall, I decree, let them all be closed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. They must be closed tonight. Those demonic doorway, they must close. They must close by fire. They must close by thunder. They must close by fire. They must close by thunder. They must close by fire. They must close by thunder. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to pray. Say every speaking blood. I want you to pray very well. I want you to pray very well. I'm praying this prayer because of somebody. Say every speaking blood assigned against my life. You are a liar. Shut up and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every speaking blood assigned against my life. You are a liar. Shut up. Die. 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 Every speaking blood assigned against my life. Be silenced by the power and the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the power and the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the power and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, they are silenced. Listen. There are some people hearing me right now. The blood of your ancestors are shed is fighting against you. Some of the blood your ancestors have shed and you are unconscious. You are so unconscious about them. I beg you, I want you to pray tonight. Pray this prayer very well right now. Because that's the reason why we pray that prayer right now. And I'm going to repeat that prayer again now. The blood that your ancestors have shed, unknown to you, they have fought your ancestors and now they are still manifesting to fight concerning your life. And I want you to pray for yourself right now. You are going to pray. Say every speaking evil blood. Say every speaking blood. Ascend against my life. Your end has come tonight. I terminate your voice by the power and the blood of Jesus. I terminate your voice over my family by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every speaking blood assigned against my destiny. I terminate you tonight by the power and the blood of Jesus. I terminate you tonight by the power and the blood of Jesus. I terminate you tonight by the power and the blood of Jesus. I terminate you tonight by the power and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for such people that are hearing me right now. I declare upon their life. Every blood that has been shed by your ancestors and they begin to work against your interests, I command I decree because you are now a son of Zion, a daughter of Zion, a son of the Most High God, I decree you have become covenanted to the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. I command silence upon those evil blood right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Those blood that are speaking vengeance concerning your life, that are speaking all manner of evil, calamity, tragedy. I decree right now, I terminate the oppression concerning your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Go and become free again. It is well. You are operating now under the covenant of the power of the blood of Jesus. Not under any other contrary blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to see, pray this prayer again for yourself like this. Say, ancestral idols. Say, ancestral idols, crying against my moving forward, your end has come tonight. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Ancestral idols, crying against my moving forward, your end has come tonight. That, 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 that. Ancestral idols, crying against my life, your end has come tonight. That, 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 that. In Jesus' mighty name, they are dead. I still want you to pray for yourself. Hmm. Think, why am I seeing? Why, 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 am I, why, why, why are all these people tormented over ancestral matters tonight like this? We are still going to pray this prayer for yourself. Say, ancestral powers of my father's house. Ancestral powers of my mother's house. If you are married, say, ancestral powers of my in-law's house. I decree, face yourself right now and destroy yourself. Leave me alone. Face yourself and destroy yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus, ancestral powers of my father's house, ancestral powers of my mother's house, ancestral powers of my in-laws' house. I decree, leave me alone. Face yourself and destroy yourself now. Face yourself and destroy yourself. Face yourself and destroy yourself. 
Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Test yourself and destroy yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Ancestral powers of my father's house, ancestral powers of my mother's house, ancestral powers of my in law's house. I decree right now, face yourself, face yourself, face yourself, and destroy yourself in Jesus' mighty name. It is done. I decree upon you right now every powers of your ancestors from your father's house, from your mother's house, from your in law's house that are challenging the glory of God concerning your life. I command right now, they must leave you alone and face themselves and destroy and consume themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We are still going to pray that prayer. Say every innocent blood shed by my ancestors crying against my destiny. I silence you tonight by fire, by thunder. Pray that prayer for yourself. The Lord asked me to pray it again. Every innocent blood shed by my ancestors Kind against my life, kind against my health, kind against my moving forward, kind against my prosperity. I silence you tonight by the blood of Jesus. I silence you. I silence you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I silence you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I silence you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I silence you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I silence you by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, they are silenced. I declare right now, upon your life right now, every blood. Innocent blood that have been shed and is warring, fighting back against your personality, against your destiny, against your health, against your progress, against your prosperity. I command them to be silenced tonight by the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive your deliverance and go and prosper, son and daughter of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to place your hand on your chest. I should pray the following prayers for yourself. I do not know what you are passing through in your health right now. Begin to talk to God right now. And begin to ask God, the balm of Gilead, to enter your destiny, enter your life. Oh yes, open your mouth and begin to talk to God now. Say, Father Lord, you have promised that healing is the children's bread. Come to my rescue tonight. Come and feed me with your bread of healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you have said it, Lord, that healing is the children's bread. Begin to talk to God concerning yourself, concerning your life, concerning your health. Lord, come and feed me, feed me with the bread of healing. Come and feed me with the bread of healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, come to my rescue tonight. Feed me with the bread of healing. Feed me with the bread of healing. Feed me with the bread of healing. Yes, Lord, I prophesy, I decree upon your destiny right now. Whatever area in your life you are facing health challenges, I decree in the intervention of Jehovah, Je Jehovah Rapha, in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree the intervention, oh yes, Lord, of Jehovah Rapha right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree the intervention of the Bible of Gilead, in the name of Jesus. I decree the intervention of the great physician himself, in the name of Jesus. Yes, every area of your life, you are facing a challenge. I say receive your own healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name, you have received. I want you to pray these two prayer points in that regard. You are going to pray. Say, blood of Jesus, come and mingle with my own blood. Come and destroy every stronghold of infirmity in my body. And give me my perfect healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, come and mingle with my own blood. Oh, yes, Lord. And destroy every yoke of infirmity in my body in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, come and mingle with my own blood. And destroy every yoke of infirmity in my body in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Mingle with my own blood. Come and destroy every yoke of infirmity in my body. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. You are still going to pray. Say, blood of Jesus, enter into my body system. Mingle with the fluid of my body. And destroy every yoke of infirmity in my body. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, mingle with the fluid in my body. And destroy every yoke of infirmity. Destroy every yoke of infirmity. Destroy every yoke of sickness. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, come and mingle with the fluid in my body, the water in my body, my bones, my marrows. Destroy every yoke of infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy them now. Destroy them now. Destroy them now. Destroy them now. Aha! In Jesus' mighty name, they are destroyed. I pray for you right now, from person to person listening to me right now. Let the power of the blood of Jesus mingle with your body system right now and bring back to order. What sickness is trying to put out of order in your body? In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the power of the blood of Jesus enter into you right now. 
from your from from person to person oh yes from the from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet wherever your earth is affected yes i prophesy i decree receive your divine healing divine healing right now in the name of jesus let the power of the blood of jesus enter into you right now and begin to neutralize every yoke of infirmity every yoke of sickness every yoke of trouble every yoke of problem inside your body system in the mighty name of jesus you that men and women say you can never be well again. I command upon you right now. Receive your healing again. In the name of Jesus. And come and give all the glory to Jesus. Father, we thank you because we know you have answered us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to pray this final prayer like this. And you are going to pray. The Bible says, The Bible says we should put on the whole armor of God. And be able to stand against the wives of the enemy. Tonight, we just talked about the strategies, the tactics of the enemy, all the various tactics. We are going to pray. We are going to pray like this. Say, O oh Lord, my God, arise. Put upon me the old armor of God. Put upon me the old armor of God. And make me victorious over all my enemies in the mighty name of the Lord. O oh Lord, my God, tonight, put upon me the old armor of God. And make me victorious over all my enemies. Put upon me the old armor of God. And make me victorious in the name of Jesus. Make me victorious. In the name of Jesus, make me victorious. In the name of Jesus, make me victorious. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. I decree upon your life that the Lord will put upon you the whole armor of God, and the armor of God will so surround your destiny. The edge of God will build round about you. The enemy will not penetrate over your weapon any longer. In the mighty name of Jesus, see, pray this final prayer for yourself, because I'm being led by the Spirit to pray this final one again, and you are going to pray it like this. Thank you, Jesus. You are going to pray. Say every pregnancy of evil. In the remaining part, place your hand on your chest as you pray a prayer. Say every pregnancy of evil. In the remaining part of year 2021, it is minus me and my family. I have bought you by fire by thunder. Every pregnancy of evil. In the remaining part of year 2021, it is minus me and my family. Therefore, I have bought you by fire by thunder. Begin to abort them. I have bought you by fire by thunder. In this many part of this year, I shall not suffer evil. I shall not be bruised. I shall not be injured. I shall not, I shall not fall for calamity. I shall not fall for tragedy. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not be sick. I shall not fall. I shall not fail. Every, every, every pregnancy of evil in the remaining part of year 2021, it is minus me and my family. I have bought you by fire. I have bought you by thunder. I have bought you by fire. I have bought you by thunder. I have bought you by fire. I have bought you by thunder. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy upon your life too. Every pregnancy of evil, in your life, concerning your life, we command them to be aborted. They will be aborted. They will be aborted. From person to person, any plan the enemy has put in place, it will not come to pass. It will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall, as you have seen the beginning of this year, you shall see the end. You shall see the end. I shall see the end. We shall see the end. To the glory of God and to the shame of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I also pray for every nation that is hurting right now. I decree divine, divine release of the peace of God upon such a nation. I use my nation Nigeria as a point of contact. Every nation that is hurting, every people of nations that are hurting, I decree right now, Lord, according to that word that says, "The live in that in that in that in in that kingdom is is the live that is meant to heal the nations. Let our nations receive divine healing right now. Let the troubler of our nation receive divine trouble." Let those came in to make the nation problematic troubles, let them receive divine trouble right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let peace envelop our nation from east to west, north to south in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with us all this night. It is well with our nation. It is well with our lives in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Once again, we thank you tonight for being with us. We appreciate your coming and we pray that your life will never remain the same again in Jesus' name. Join us again next Thursday in another blessed edition of the Hour of Glory. Until then, the Almighty God will always be with you and your family and household. Remain blessed forever and evermore. What the Lord has done in your life, the enemy can never reverse. You will never go down. You are meant to be up. You are meant to be raised. You are meant to be lifted. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God bless you all. 
you are highly lifted. Shalom. Our time again is 20, 22 West African time. 22 hours West African time. The Lord Almighty will lift us all, lift you us, lift you all up in Jesus' name. We pray. Shalom. You are mighty, you are mightily blessed. Amen.